Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to the best new motorcycle helmets of 2018. At Revzilla.com, we've been reviewing motorcycle helmets and gear since 2009. Thousands of helmets from dozens of brands. And we're always thinking about multitude of riding styles, weather, and certainly riding distances. Now in this video, we're gonna break down the best four new motorcycle helmets for 2018. And if you're thinking about more specific helmets, like track day helmets, adventure helmets, or sport touring lids, make sure you check out our motorcycle helmet category videos. Now, the last thing to think about is our evaluation criteria. Regarding these helmets, we think about safety features, fit and finish, comfort ventilation, and that all leads us back to helmet for dollar. Let's dive in. First up in our 18 guide is the best new helmet under $200. This is the Scorpion XO R420. Now at first glance, you're gonna look at a sport-oriented motorcycle helmet. So think your Ninja set, your Street Triple set, your Naked Bike set. Really, there's a versatility to this helmet because it's gonna do so many things well, whether you're upright, three-quarter, or in the tuck position. Now the first thing we love about it, besides the fact that it comes in around the $150 mark, is going to be the fit scheme, and that jumped out at us. The previous version of this helmet, which we loved, which is the XO R410, was a round shape. This helmet is now intermediate oval. And that's going to be really a fit congruent with most of the riding universe in the North American market. A little bit longer front to back, not overly narrow, not overly wide. And that should fit most riders. And you're still looking at a helmet here that's going to be Snell, DOT rated, and come in at the three pounds, nine ounce mark. So when we think about that helmet at speed while riding. It's balanced, it's light. And the thing that really jumped out at us was also the ventilation scheme. So in a ride, you're getting a multi-position chin vent, you have a nice tall chimney vent towards the top. And the thing that stood out at us outside of the fact that it flowed a ton of air was also the actuation on this vent. So remember, you're sub $200, but all of the fit and finish around these parts to the hand when you're using them are actually gonna feel like a north of $200 helmet, if not a north of $300 helmet. So from here, we're gonna go to the other end of the spectrum and dive into our best new premium helmet. Leading the charge as our best new premium motorcycle helmet for 2018 is the AGV Sport Modular. Generic name, not a generic helmet. It's all technical, it's all R&D focused. Now if we look at this helmet, it will really do everything well in a multitude of riding scenarios. And when I say that, I'm thinking sport touring, sport commuting, I'm thinking on a Ducati Multistrada to a KTX 1600. The only thing I'm not gonna give you for this sport modular is a track day, because it is DOT, ECE, but again, you're not taking a modular to the track. So when we think about the flexibility of that chin bar, it's really a creature comfort. Now, when we think about fitment for this helmet, no surprises here. Intermediate oval in its head shape, AGV's done an excellent job of really homologating their own fit, being intermediate oval a little bit longer front to back as they've developed their line over the last few years. The first thing I love about the Sport Modular is the fact that it's going to be 3K carbon. And it's less about the fact that it's carbon, it's really what you get from that. This is a three pounds, four ounce carbon fiber modular helmet. Now, it's nearly a full pound lighter than the competitive set. And it incorporates for the first time ever a full carbon fiber chin bar. We typically don't see that. The other thing we picked up was really when we're riding this helmet, the ventilation's great, it's using an interior that's really nice against the skin, but the nice part is you have the ability to tune the Ritmo liner, so you can invert it, whether you're optimizing to stay cool or block those vents, and you're optimizing to stay warm in maybe more wintertime riding scenarios. The last thing that jumped out at us when we really think R&D here is the fact that they have fully streamlined your shield mechanism over top of your chin bar pivot mechanism. Typically, these tend to be bigger and bulkier on modular helmets, and what this allows allows AGV to do is streamline the helmet while also beefing up the EPS and protection elements behind where these hinges would typically go. So all in, the AGV Sport Modular is absolutely going to be a major investment. But remember, you're investing in a helmet that's changing the game. It's the first time we're seeing a modular helmet get anywhere near the three pound mark. Also keep in mind, check out the rest of our 2018 gear guide series where we certainly cover products, but we dive deeper this year into motorcycle rider types like dirt, adventure, or track day enthusiasts. Now let's move on to the next lid. Next up, we have the runner-up for the best new helmet of 2018. Just getting edged out, but amazing nonetheless. This is the HJC ARFA 70ST. Now this is a replacement for the original 
Arfa ST. And if we look at this helmet, you're going to notice if you've seen these lids before, much, much more aggressive. The theme here is they've stolen from the Arfa 11 Pro, which from HAC is their track thoroughbred. What they've done is they've taken the aggressive angles, the aerodynamic profile, and they've baked it into a helmet that in my opinion, whether you're getting a graphic or a solid, you can ride in a multitude of riding styles from the track to sport commuting, sport riding, and really sport touring if you so desire. They've given you the ability to cover the bases. Now from a fit scheme, it's not really changed. And we like that because it was already intermediate oval. Not a surprise today that we're seeing that across the board. It fits most of the US market. Remember, a little bit longer front to back. And the first thing that we love about this helmet and the fact that they're stealing from the Arf 11 Pro is you get the benefit of some of the angles and the aero and the balance and really how this fits its speed, but you're not pigeonholed into that Arf 11 Pro, which really is happiest with your chin on the tank. You can rock this with a chin on the tank, but three quarter upright, you're going to be just fine. When it comes to our riding opinion of the Arfa 70 ST, this is where ventilation shows up one more time. We loved the Arfa 11 Pro's vent scheme. We called it the best venting helmet of all time. Now, this new HJC can stand toe to toe with it. And we think about riding from the track all the way to long distance touring, that better venting scheme is going to come in much more handy. It's easy to see why the Arfa 70 ST certainly is elevated now and makes our short list for best new helmets of 18. Now let's move on to helmet of the year. The motorcycle helmet landscape is certainly vast and diverse. To be the best in this category, you have to do a little bit more than just check the boxes. And this helmet absolutely does that. The best new motorcycle helmet for 2018 is the Arai Defiant X. And if we get a quick glance at it, brand new to the market, you're going to see a super premium helmet that covers many of the bases in an exemplary way that really traverses a lot of different riding styles. When I look at this helmet, I think about FCO9s to Monsters to Harley Fat Bobs to really Ducati Diablo. There's no true category that you can't have a great riding experience if you're riding in a Defiant X. Now, from a fit standpoint, the Defiant X is going to come in intermediate oval. And much like the Corsair X or the Arai DTX, this is a more universal fit scheme that also stays true to the fact that you can tune the cheek pads or tune the crown by removing different tabs. The first thing that jumps out specifically about the Defiant X though is the styling factor. Other than Bell or Simpson, we've seen no one really do a premium helmet in this category that will not sacrifice that couples this retro inspired flavor with a bit of that retro whiskering with a super premium, no compromises, DOT and Snell rated lid. Arai has finally done that. They've typically been spherical. They are now evolving their technology as it relates design. The other thing we noted about the Arai Defiant X when it comes to the ride is that along longer distance rides, you're going to feel the fit factor, the tunability, the premium Eco Pure liner, and the internal and external ventilation schemes on this lid. But for the first time, we've seen Arai do something different. If we look along the cheek pads here, you're going to see additional intakes. These aren't going to be the ones that go to the temple. These now go behind the cheek pad. But now for warm to hot weather riding, you are creating a vacuum that sucks air, channels it behind the cheek pad, and keeps your face even cooler. So when you couple that with a chin vent, eyelid vents, chimney vents, and your passive and active rearward vents, you're now taking a ventilation scheme which was already premium and industry leading, and you're improving it that much further. Looking at the totality of this helmet, you're looking at DOT and Snell rated. It's a major investment, but it's a helmet that's going to last you. And when we tie everything together, coupling the new style with the new ventilation, it's easy to arrive at the Ride Defiant X being the best new helmet of 2018. If you wanna learn more about the selections in our 2018 gear guide series, make sure you check out Revzilla for videos, articles, and of course, our opinion to guide you through the riding season. Also, don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss our product or rider type guides we'll be rolling out soon. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.